Hi, welcome to this video on well planning. Let's take a look at how to create a well plan. In this case, I want to plan the development well next to an existing well. You can see on my map view that I have three wells. I will be creating a well on the east of this three well development. The first thing I'm going to do is use the ruler. I can press M or go to the ruler icon in the upper right corner. So now I'm going to measure the distance between laterals. When you use the measuring tool, you will see the length of your ruler on the lower right corner. In this case, the distance between wells is 520 feet. I will use the ruler to measure to the next well, and it's also very close to 500 feet. Now I want to use the ruler to set my surface hole location for the next well. Let's measure 500 feet from the existing horizontal. And once my cursor is on the desired location for the next surface hole location, I will note the X and Y's as I will input them in the well header of the well I'm about to create. The next thing to do is to create a new well. I will right click on wells, select new and click well. Well number one is created and lives in the object tree. This well number one doesn't have any trajectory data, so I will right click on it and go to the spreadsheet. Now in the spreadsheet, I will put in the X and Y values, which were notated when using the ruler. KB elevation in this well is 420 feet. So now you can see on my map view, I have this new well called well one. To activate this well and start creating a well plan, I have to have a trajectory for it. The next thing I'm going to do is click on the spreadsheet and add in a known value. In this case, I'm going to add a new row for my spreadsheet and add a depth of 9,000 feet for my kickoff point. I'm just making this completely vertical. Now I have two data points. Before I click OK, it's important to put the correct azimuth VS. These three development wells are at 325 degrees for the azimuth VS. I'll say OK. I will activate this well number one and deactivate my current displayed well. If I zoom out, I can see my vertical from 420 KB down to 9000 MD. When creating a well plan, it's very important to have your structural grids. In red dashed lines, I have the formation of interest top, which we updated on our previous video by incorporating the horizon data into my grid. And I've created a target top and a target base structure. The first step to create your well plan is to make a target line. Let's go to the object tree, select well number one, new and target line. You can see I have now a new object called target line in red and in also in red on my juice string cross section have this massive line. I will edit this target line by right clicking on it in the object tree, selecting edit target. I have a green and a blue node which I can move around and edit them. I can also select the middle part of the line and move it and shuffle it around. Once I have set the target line in my landing location, I can extend the trajectory of my world war to come to the target line. To do this, since my target line is selected in the object tree, I have this tab called target line format. Here I can choose to extend the trajectory and I will add a dog leg constraint of 12 degrees. Now I have this line that has been extended from my well bore down to the target line at landing. If I edit this target line, you can see how that dash trajectory changes. I turn my target line on on the map view, select map view, check target line. I can also edit this target line within my map view. I will choose to right click on target line, select edit, and I can move the azimuth of my well bore by moving my target line. The next thing to do is to click append. This will create survey data. Right click on well and click the spreadsheet. Now you can see there's survey data past 9,000 feet, which was the manual entry I created for my kickoff point. The next thing to do is to repeat this process of editing your target line and appending that well data. I will edit my target line, I will move it right here before the fault. You can leave it like this or you can visualize what your next target will be as it moves the dog leg constraints. I would suggest once you're in the horizontal to change your dog leg constraints to 3 degrees. You see how that trajectory changed to prepare for the next target line. I will choose append. I will move this target. Let's say I want to cross the fault and be on this side within the horizontal. Now I can choose append. And the dash line, which was part of the extended trajectory, is now part of the well. Let's keep moving forward and we'll repeat this process all the way to TD. Now the target line has been set within target all the way to TD. Select append. And there's my new well bore. Let's check the spreadsheet for well number one. At this point, I've appended the trajectory of my target lines to the well plan. If I choose target line, I can go and select the button that says create. This now creates a well plan. I will delete my target line 
since I will not be editing that anymore. And at this point, since my well has not been drilled past kickoff point, I will select all of the data rows that were created within my spreadsheet and delete them. And now I just have a well bore down to kickoff point and a well plan all the way to TD. I will turn on my well plan on my map and you can see it here. Now my well plan is created all the way up to about 11,000 BS. The other three existing development horizontals are up to about 4,000 BS. At this point, if you would like, you can send all this spreadsheet data to your directional drillers to have as a guide for them to create their directional plan. And that's the fastest way to create a well plan. Join me in the next video where we will go over the correlation panel. And I hope it is a shorter video than this one.